comes to a point where you're gonna ask yourself, why am I here? I came all the way from New York. My job hangs in the balance. It was supposed to be so simple. You just take the paper, you sign it, and then you get to go home. Your boyfriend stops bitching at you. Maybe your mom will tell you a really long and annoying story. But you'll be home. You eat some fucking caviar and whatever the fuck you do in New York. Now here you are. And there might be an heir. And did you could lose your job. Your boss is mad at you. And you're faced with a question. What do I do now? Do I desecrate the sacred resting place of someone who you're supposed to be dealing with, whose brother died, and and it's like it's supposed to be dead and left just to peace. But then you think to yourself again, you know what? I ain't losing my fucking job. Not in this economy. Not in Trump's America. We're gonna go fucking Grey Robin. Welcome back to Siberia. When we last left off, we did some recent investigate <clears throat> on the local church offices. We found a weird key and some punch cards. One of the punch cards had a funeral tune that now seemingly has given us, well, at least one step closer to access to the Vorarlberg tomb. And let's go see what we can do with that. It's gonna get ooky spooky. <laughs> What are you talking about? The animation is just great. That door is locked. I've got to find another way around. No, oh, the sound. The sound is fine. The sound is fine. I don't know what you're just, you know, being negative. Just, you know, keep it to yourself. All right. So up here, this is what changed. We saw this in the cutscene, of course, that the grave keeper, I guess he kind of is, took off his hat and, and does a little hello with it. And here we see an opening, which again, it's a hat. How do you make gears in here that connects up to this? Okay, I'll, I'll stop. I'll stop. <laughs> Bonus. <laughs> I didn't see a bonus. You don't get bonuses for playing this. What do you think this is? The PlayStation? Or trophies? Ah, come on. Game... It's... Nothing... Nothing's different. Just calm down. Alright. So here we are. The Warlberg Tomb. <laughs> We're really gonna fucking go grave robbing, aren't we? So here we can see all the different Warlbergs. Isabel Anna here, of course, who just passed away in 2002. And again, that's, I think, the release year of this game. Rudolf and Jean. I think Rudolf was the father of Hans and Anna. Uh, maybe Isabel was the mother. Maybe Sean was. I. Or Sheen, or... French names are weird. Let's move on. Let's... <laughs> Let's, um... Let's open a dead kid's grave. <laughs> That's fun. Good. No, it's good. This, this is what I took my bar exam for. Oh, oh no, this is really happening, isn't it? Oh, we're gonna, mm, we're gonna do it. But of course, it's all a jip. We have known for quite some time now that Hans didn't actually die. It was heavily, like, hinted to, or it was literally told in two different letters that he wasn't. So, of course, it's just an empty grave. We'll take whatever's in there, and we'll take a look at it. Baladiland voice cylinder. Interesting. So why would that actually be there? I don't think the father would want to put that in to the 
I forgot what the thing the dead people goes in. The wooden box of death. He wouldn't have put a voice cylinder in there, I don't think. Maybe this is something Anna left behind for whoever would be willing to go looking. So it's completely justified. It's uh, it makes sense we're here. Good. It's good that I. It's good that I did this. There is information here. You know. This is <laughs> I'm not a bad person. Damn it. I'm just doing my job. So let's see here. Valadilen Gazette, Tuesday, March, March, seventeenth, nineteen thirty-eight. Mountain fall kills local figure. The Warburg family was struck by tragedy yesterday. Rudolf Warburg discovered the lifeless body of his son Hans at the bottom of a precipice. Loose rocks and poor visibility occasioned by the morning mist were probably the cause of the young man's fall. This is the theory put forward by the family, as there were no witnesses. Well, Anna was there. I don't know why that's kept out. Hmm, interesting. Hans had just turned 18 years of age. Eight years ago, he suffered a similar serious accident. Oh, okay, I thought they were talking about the cave incident. Of course not. He suffered a serious in accident from which he never fully recovered the full use of his mental faculties. Despite leaving, uh, living almost uh, as a recluse, he was still a well-known figure as the future of Vorlberg manufacturing lay in his hands. We at the Valle de Lenn Gazette wish to extend our deepest sympathy to his family and express our, <clears throat> our sincere condolences to Rudolf Warburg and his daughter Anna, who today become the sole inheritor of the Automaton Factory. Alright, so yeah, this is the, just the news reporting on the jib that Rudolf uh, made up and told. So, all right, so, yeah, actually, that's, what do we do now? We have gone and robbed the grave. We have a voice and some paper, but that doesn't really get us any closer to our objective of finding Hans and getting the paper signed. Excuse me, that was a burp. So, what do we do now? That is, that is the question. But I do, I do think we have, uh, we have some options. I remember something involving this thing. You know, we met Oscar, the weird automaton who was articulate and moved, unlike all the other automatons here who have been wound up and static, literally robots, not just automatons, which would be akin to calling them like cyborgs or something like that. None of these are alive or programmed and move on the set pattern as long as they are wound up is, well, wound up. So let's go see if we can't help him out. He wanted some legs and let's go see if we can't give those to him. And I think this also is um, a good time to, to spill the beans, you know. You might have uh, seen there's something different here. Oh uh, yeah, oh uh, yeah. It's an April Fools, everyone. A April Fools. Yeah. No. 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 It's the no. It's the Android version. Okay. We're playing the Android version. Cause yeah, this this it came out on on Android. It's a, a April Fools joke. You got no sense of humor. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyways, this is uh, this is the Android version uh, that I bought on Humble Bundle. I never actually got around to looking up if Siberia 2 also came out on on Android, but this one certainly did. It's actually a little bit odd because it has been ported to quite a lot of systems, and I wouldn't think that it wouldn't would warrant different systems because I. Apart from YouTube surprising me in how many videos there are of Siberia and any given game you would think wouldn't have much on it, like recently I've been watching Monster Rancher and was so surprised that there was like speedruns and all kinds of stuff uh, about that game. And YouTube surprises me with like a lot of videos of Siberia, but I never thought that it would be a thing that you would port to all kinds of different systems. And that it would be known enough, that people would want it enough. But it has been ported to a few different things and will 
we'll get into that a uh, little bit later. This place right here, I will show you a video of this place as we head back out. You come in and you pull a little thing and the thing goes in the thing, it starts spinning around and you connect it. That's, that's pretty much it. But I did that on the Android version here and forgot that, you know, we hadn't done that on the PC. So for this, I think we have to move up here. No, I'm telling lies. Because we did on PC get the gas canister in here. But here I haven't actually moved it yet. And this is another thing with the Android version. Maybe I'll play through it on my own and unlock all these bonuses. It's really just extra like... Uh, sketches and stuff like that, and I think the PC version that I have off of GOG.com will actually come with these as, like, bonuses there. Uh, and I'm sorry, I'm talking a little bit louder over this because it is, it is really loud. And I won't, I won't jinx anything by going to OBS and turning it down, so I'll do that in post and I'll have to compensate for that there. So apologies for that. This was a little bit of a, a ball ache to get to get rolling, so I don't want to I don't want to disturb anything. We'll just have to go with this uh, as it roll with the punches, as they say. All right, so now that my brain is working, it needed to buffer a little bit there. We'll go back up here. And that was a place we didn't go to before because I knew it wouldn't give us anything at the time. So it goes over here. And this is where I, I forgot to completely remark on how nice it is in a point and click that you know what you can inter interact with. Uh, in, in the PC version, of course, this isn't there and you have to go pixel hunting. I've been playing another point and click recently where, like, it didn't have it and I had to go pixel hunting a few times. And it it wasn't the best. It, uh, it was. It was not good. All right. So here we have another segment on our last play journey. It's called "Hey, can you remember the puzzle?" And no, I can't. So it's something with the template here. You have to select the right color of wood. which of course I can't remember. And we might have to go back to Oscar and talk to him because he might actually have something on the specifications of uh, producing his legs. But if I recall correctly, sorry, I have a little bit of gas. <clears throat> it's something like this. If that's going to work, Looks like something's missing. Okay. Um, there, yeah, there, go. If that's going to work. I really have forgotten this, haven't I? Did I turn this on correctly? Oh, I forgot. I forgot something crucial, didn't I? Ah, oh, shit. All right. Well, it's um, time to go exploring. See if I can't remember what I missed between playing two different versions of the game. Alright, let's talk to Ask again, see if he can Hi, give us some it's hints. it's me again. Can I trouble- In the situation I am in, nothing would give me greater pleasure. When you are complete and totally functional, can you help me gather information about Hans Vorlberg? I'm afraid I can't, Kate Walker. Duty calls. Once I've recovered my feet, I have to see to my post on the train. It's waiting for its engineer. Oscar, I'm experiencing some problems with the general console. It looks like I need more than your card to operate it. To my knowledge, the console is in perfect working order. Okay, I guess I must have forgotten something. Most certainly, yes. I am counting on you, Kate Walker. Well, shit. 
back to it then, I guess. Don't. Well, when all else failed, you just start hammering buttons, I guess. Yeah, well. Okay then. Did uh, yeah. 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 Alright, so either I did this correctly or did it wrong. Well, the but I do remember the video being a lot more official like when we finally got the right melody. It, it changed and it was a lot more bombastic and more... Yeah, well, bombastic is a good word. I don't think these are the right legs. You have to try a few times to get the right one. I don't think Oscar is ever too much help on this, and I think I brute forced it when I first played the game. I just keep kept clicking things until I got the right wood color or whatever. It's it's something like that. We'll go and we'll try and give it to to Oscar, and we'll we'll see what happens. I'm sorry for the stuttering in the audio, by the way, something I forgot to mention is the emulation, of course, isn't perfect, and I had to set the infinity in the task manager to, to just use one core, one physical core, to give it the best, best audio. This is a lot better than it was. This audio is miles above what it was. Here are your feet, Oscar. I hope I haven't made a mistake. These feet are incorrect, Kate Walker. These feet are glued together. Yeah, and that's really all you get. Uh, it's they're incorrect. I don't think he ever gives you any proper hints to it. Actually, let's just go back and add talk to him and see if he, he doesn't. Because I, I just remember him being like, Hi, "Nope, it's me again." You don't get any In help. The situation, I... Oscar, I'm ex. To my knowledge, the... okay. Most certainly. Yeah, yes. see, that's that's really uh, it. It's it's a really dumb puzzle because there's no hints to it. It's just make it work. Think for Damn it. Fuck you. Mark Mark Malexco. So well, let's go see if we can make those legs good then. <laughs> Fun and engaging gameplay. Alright, so um no. Here are your feet, Oscar. I hope I haven't made a mistake. These feet are incorrect, Kate Walker. I hate you so goddamn much. Well, cue the music, Johnny. All right, so I consulted fucking game boomers. I I I had it. I was done. I was done. Okay, not ashamed to admit that.
I was fucking done. But in it, I found a guide, or on the side, I found a guide that showed me something that I've never ever noticed before. You'll um, remember the the brochure here. It's like um, assembling each model is a meticulous project, standard toys are constructed from local wood, while the most yada yada yada. And there's a piece of wood. Maybe that's a hint. So the game actually does fucking. Ah! After all these fucking years, I have never fucking noticed that. Ever. God damn. Fuck. Me. Alright. So there, right? That's... That's the thing, right? That's it. That's the color, right? That's... That's the fucking color. That ha It has to be. This is it. This is the fucking color. It's not that. That's too dark. That's not it. It's not the right... Very light caramel color that it is. This... It has to... It has to be. It just... It has to... Oh, thank f oh, <laughs> thank God. <laughs> Release! Yes. Oh, it's so beautiful. Finally, holy crabola, that took forever, just absolutely forever. I mean, it's, it's, it's like a thing you pick up at the beginning of the game, you know, you, you forget these things, you have to remind your players better than, it. no, you shut up, you're stupid, you're, you're forgetful. Gonna go give the legs to Oscar now. Then, then I, I think I need, I think I need some rest. All right, Oscar, here's your dumbass fucking here are legs, your feet, Oscar. feet. I hope they fit. Yeah, I hope they fit. Take I hope over. you. I see you managed Stumble to two XZ two thousand five underscore B models. Allow me to express a real feeling of joy, Kate Walker. They really suit you. Comfy? Very. You are very kind, Kate Walker. I am sorry to have to leave you. Where are you going? I must find my train. Its departure is imminent. Oh, yeah, it's... Uh, no, no biggie. Yeah, you're, you're welcome. Don't fall on your way out and, uh, you know, break your shins or something. They were really hard to make. But it's no big. I don't need... Th yeah, okay. S see ya. Wow. Well, he's an asshole. <sighs> well, anyways, that was Siberia on the Android. I think for the next episode we're gonna switch back to the PC because I am not trusting this to hold up in the end. It is a little bit fiddly, the sound is not all that good, and yeah, I'm just not trusting it. But, in the meantime, in between, we are gonna talk about some of our, the ports that was made for Siberia. There are various different versions, so we're going to take a look at those next time.